We defeated the boss! Woo! And let's go look at our reward. Um, well, I didn't get to level 19. Well, she at least she, at least she got to level 18, uh, Esther. Uh, my monster's leveled up, and yeah, we did pretty good from there. Ah, uh, good job, Mittens. I gotta start using him. Yeah. That's how it went. Ha-ha! Why would he just attack us like that? Phew! Are you alright, Oliver? Oh, your name is Oliver, Master. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, most illustrious Master Oliver, your prow- Your- wait, prow- prowess in battle was- is unsurpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful, truly you are a master worthy of Al- Genie of the pot. Genie? That's right, Ollie boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside of it. See? They do what's known as alchemy for you, but they have a test you first to see if you're worthy, ain't it? That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal like. If you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's, a tradi it's traditional, see? Gee, you could have warned me, Mr. Drippy. Hmm, well, when I first laid my eyes on you, Master, your... Wait, diminutive size worried me most prodigious. I can't say big words. Ah, but you have humbled me. You have reminded me that a book may never be judged by its cover, no matter how unimpressive it may be. I bow to you, Master, now and forevermore. Pleased to meet you, too. Yeah, we got cauldron. Master, I must pay you a tribute. Please accept this humble gifts. Yeah. Yeah, grapes. Oh, yeah, leaves. You must combine these items with the powers of alchemy. They will produce a most wondrous and magical result. What you put there, there, then you get that. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa, look at those rocks. And once you do that, oh, wow. And for this, you'll, your first alchem uh, 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 alchemical experiment, I present you also with a formula. Behold! Whoa, that's actually a cool page. Master, you must use the formula I gave you. Oh, come on, man. Surprise do. Oh, Sprite do. And I get a bottle of Sprite do. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. Your cauldron is capable of many more such miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, medicines, and treasures of every kind. You must take your wizard's companion in hand and try all that the alch alch Why can I say that? I know that word. I can say that word. Arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward most humbly to serving you, master. Aha! There's useful, eh, Ollie boy? Now we just need to bag ourselves a bow and we'll be tidy. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Okay, so uh, let's go to that pot. Follow the formula. Sprite do. That's it. Mix it, mix and matches. I want to. Oh, I can't. Oh well. Hey, what's up? The genie in the cauldron. However, did however did it get inside? I wonder. Well, I'm sure you need not concern yourself with such matters. Please persuade my wares. Or yeah, whatever. Shut up. I'm having a bad reading day. There we go. Uh, now we gotta talk to the boat guy. Alright, so yeah, we gotta talk to the boat guy now. Gotta talk to J Captain Jack Sparrow. And see if we can get a, uh, ride. Ooh, Flan. Oh, are you kidding me? I went the wrong way? Come on! I always go the wrong way. I wanna go down here. Ah, uh -huh. Move. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Cutscene! Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it Seaside Paradise of the South. Look, they are not dressed correctly. Touch! So very disrespectful! Uh, wh what? Knickers! It's Ding Dong Dell all over flipping again. Jeepers. Come on, calm now. What's this disturbance? Ah, uh, Governor, the very- oh, wait, whoops. What do we have here, hmm? You are visitors to our town, I take it. You must know that all who enter this palace are required to by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, the of the bathing suit. Why? 
but we ain't planning on moving here, is it? Wait, what? Yeah, we yeah, okay. We're just passing through, like. Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We once had great trouble here. I'm sorry to hear that. You never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all over our world would sail to Castaway Cove, travelers who do not always see eye to eye. The men of the sea are hardy but quick-tempered. Without co constant supervision, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I am sure that you have, you have guessed already what it was. Um, yes, to require all those in the town to wear bathing suits, of course. Ah, uh, what it... What is he, flipping crackers or something? What difference would that make? A great difference indeed, fairy, for in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ho, ho, ho! And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they are Al Mamoon from Ding Dong Dell or from the furthest flung islands of the north, when they don't, when they dong the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Wow, that's interesting, but it's such a strange idea. How did you convince everyone to agree? Ha 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 At first, of course, I met with rid ridicule from all sides. None would support my scheme, see? But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustration. And why was I able to show such restraint? Because I had a dream. A dream that one day, all people would wear swimsuits. They will all be equal, and they will all ha be live happily ever after. That is a dream that will never come true in my book, but I already made it come true. A dream of peace in the place of my birth. Gee, I thought they were dressed like that because it was hot. Oh, wait, oh, it's because it was so hot. Hee <laughs> hee, me too. Ho uh, ho ho, you're not the first to think so, but this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding and a happy one. I understand now we should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everyone else. Let's do it. I want to become a citizen of Castaway Cove. <laughs> Me too. All right then. We flippin' must. But I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? <laughs> Worry not, little one. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for whiz visitors such as yourself. Come, you only follow me into my home. <laughs> so I can rape you. <laughs> ah, look. Check me out, dolly boy. I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> Ew, she's seven years old. Get you got get your eyes off her. What do you think? Dude, you're like eight hmm? or ten or twelve. Not hot. Sorry, I'm late. We must be boys. Well, we may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of more involved nature of feminine dress, eh, Ollie boy? I uh, guess. Uh, you're a creep, Mr. Drippy. Anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove. Now, let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Mr. Governor, sir. But, ho, ho. The bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now, at last, I can say to you, Welcome to Castaway Cove! Thank you. And now, at last, we can go and look for a flipping boat. Uh, wait. Talk about a faff, mon. Yeah, I got a bathing suit. Shut up, phone. Oh yeah, boom, boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Well, let's go talk to the captain and see what's on his mind. Excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of the ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all who sail in her. You have a beautiful boat, captain. You do not need to tell me that. She is the most beautiful on the seven seas. There is not a finer or more fearsome ship afloat, afloat, and her name is no less fine or fearsome, for she is a legendary sea cow. Wait, yeah, was I mistaking cow? I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your ship? <gasps> you seek passage aboard the sea cow? We need to get to... yeah. A vast girl. You believe that you can merely stroll aboard. Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, um... Well, Captain, and may I say what a fine Captain you are... The young man standing before you, and I know it seems unlikely, but bear with me. This unamusing scrap of lad here, Oliver his name is, he is only a journey to save our flippin' world. And he's only a con- wait. Yeah, hold on. A companion by none other than myself, Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. 
Oh, and I'm Master. You, know, you forgot about me, Drippy, did you? You are a theory. I traveled the world, but never have seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you traveled to save the world with a fairy for a companion? Ha ha ha! Then surely my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships, a fleet even. Ha ha ha! Uh, does that mean we could ride with you? But of course, boy! Just as soon as you have shown me the letter of passage from our beloved... Ka oh, God! Oh, oh, my throat! The most <coughs> exalted... Bleh. We sailed, after all, to our glory and that of all the moon. Should the Khalifa see fit to grant you permission to come aboard, I will refuse you nothing. Alright, Captain, we'll go get the letter that right now. <laughs> Fine words, lad, but easier said than done, I fear. Still, if you are truly to save our world, it should be the work of mere moments. <laughs> I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him wrong. If we could bring him that letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alba Moon and get it. Calflevia, I wonder what she's like. Looking forward for this, I am. I flippin' love royalty, me. Oh, that one ship. Okay, I know what they're, I know what they're talking about. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop here, and thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Oh, I got nine hours. Look at that, people. Look at that. Nine hours into the game. Boom, boom, boom. Ha. I'm going to go for a hundred. Or maybe even more. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. All right, I'll see you guys later.